गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो कैन कैन आई डू माय जॉब सॉ यू व्हाट्स अप गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो वेलकम टू हॉर्स पावर कार्टल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कार्स दैट शुड कम टू इंडिया बिकॉज़ दीस आर प्रीटी कूल कार्स एंड आई थिंक इट विल बी प्रीटी फीजिबल फॉर द मैन्युफैक्चरर्स टू ब्रिंग इट टू इंडिया and uh it will probably sell like hot cake so this is from a car enthusiast point of view yeah so. man like what's with all the racism we never get good cars bro like that's not called racism bro it's that's just called economics and cost cutting and stuff you okay. will get into I'm that i'm coming from a place of high passions bro anyways he goes to japan once the <laughs> members <laughs> coming soon anyways let's talk about your favorite car which you happen to drive in japan it's the toyota gr yaris the toyota gr yaris basically see yaris three door hatch and it has 265 horsepower yeah around it's a gr which is like the amg of toyota you can say yeah and it's a homologation special you yes, know limited because production they had to make it is it limited really yeah it was supposed to be i don't I think so yeah I don't think so anymore They made 25000 units or something It's not limited <laughs> That's that's supposedly, not limited. <laughs> supposedly no, limited bro, that's for not the limited. whole world <laughs> there, there are cars that they have launched not Toyota but other companies they only sell like 2000 cars And that's not limited <laughs> That's still not limited Anyways marketing 400 Bugattis that's limited Anyways GRR is 265 horsepower I don't know how much torque Made to a six-speed manual. Six-speed manual, all-wheel drive. The one like you drove had like Olin suspension. Built time V16. Built time V16 or whatever. And front and back two ways, limited slip differential. From factory. From factory. Wow. It came with a from factory. It had an intercooler spray. Really? Yeah. It had a button for yeah, it. Yeah. I think if you can find the video, a photo, well, you should put it in the video. But it has a button for the intercooler spray. That's not spray. a new thing. Actually, my Evo Six had one but as well. to see it now like people still yeah because it makes a big difference on the yeah. track of course you know it brings the iats down as well but so uh, a lot of aftermarket parts from factory in that car and it's just such a good everyday car for india but one thing i uh, a little turn off about the gr rs i haven't driven it so i can't really comment on it mm-hmm. but the one turn off and you said that it's fine and it's not a big deal it's a three cylinder bro see it, honestly how many valves it's four valves per cylinder so okay Quick maths, it's twelve valves. Twelve valves, yeah. That's, that's, that's less than a wagon or really sixteen valves. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 so much. But anyways, but it's so heavily boosted. Like you really after one thirty kilometers per hour, which you know it's difficult to do on our roads anyway. Till that point, it's pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty quick. You know. Depends on the car, but yeah. Bro, come on. Especially if it's you have five factory, more cylinders from factory for thirty. Okay, anyways, let's enough to, talking about this Jap. hatchback so it's what would you you'd price it at what would i would say that they should bring it down at, and and i think it should be a ckd that's the only way this could work i think about 35 lakhs to 40 lakhs this would be a ideal i would pay that much for it what do you yeah. think yeah also guys like this video is like very subjective <coughs> i mean yeah it's all our personal it's opinion it's off our heads so yeah, like so don't, don't, like, don't give a shit in the yeah. comments like oh it should be this much and what's not feel like we don't care okay it's just yeah this is our opinion, opinion yeah. yeah so if you want to watch Watch, watch, watch. Otherwise, another GR car by Toyota is the Toyota Supra, the A90, mm-hmm. which I think would be cool as well. Of course, it would have to be a CKD, but if it's not, then I think they could price it at about eighty lakhs extra, showroom, right around the Z4, because the Supra has a crazy fan yeah, following. It's a really good know, car, like, and I don't know why there's so many more Z4s in Mumbai right now. Like when you go out around Juhu, you see so many at <laughs> night. Yeah, like people top down, like two dudes in the car, <laughs> listening to Punjabi. What's wrong with top down two dudes in the car? But uh, but but you you know what I mean like it's come common now and even the four cylinder even if it's not the six cylinder which no, which is what the car guys want we need the B fifty eight we need the B but even if they just got like a four cylinder alongside with the six of course of course I think that maybe even a six speed manual that that has come abroad now yeah so. exactly so that's a very good anyways car. moving on another cool car Volkswagen had launched the Polo GTI I think they should like step it up a bit and sell the Golf R over here you know you know the VR is sold for like 45 lakhs yeah the VR is sold for 45 lakhs and, and that was sold out and it was sold yeah. out so why not launch a Golf R 306 horsepower all wheel drive seven speed dual clutch or i think six speed dual clutch i don't know which one is seven speed dual clutch it's dq500 it's basically audi s3 more on that in a bit we'll talk about that as well mm-hmm. but uh the golf r i think it's a sick car i think a lot of people will buy it and i think around 60 lakhs 
It's a good showroom. price, yeah. Would be a good price. Or maybe even 50 lakhs. It's like 125 showroom. units. Like yeah, like not much. Limited. Limited, I think yeah. people would buy it. Like, you know how the VRS 245 was limited units. People would buy it. It would definitely sell out. You know, before. Some say, supposedly, that the new Golf Mark 8 or 8.5 might come to India. Golf might, but I don't think it's going to be a GTI. I heard a GTD might come. And there was some GTD spotted, as you can see. On um, test. Who was going to post some pictures now. Maybe so that's yes. just an engine test for the newer Audi cars. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, but yeah. But they should Golf get R. the Golf. Speaking yeah. about the Golf R, why not the Audi S3? You know, just price a little 10 more lakhs above. Um, I think it's a more premium product than the A35. But uh, it's actually the competition. The A35 is here. I think it comes up to being about 60 to 70 lakhs. 68 to 70 yeah, lakhs on road. But the thing about the 35 AMGs, the aftermarket is not that crazy. Yeah, of course. Compared to the, the S3, Audi S3 or the Golf the, the GTI engine, you know, you, yeah. can, you can have more fun with it. And we Indians, like, we love it. Now, coming on to a favorite car of yours. Oh. The Audi RS3. <laughs> I, have, I have a special And place. I think it should be priced around a CR. This is a crazy car. It's a five-cylinder turbocharged these all wheel drives are haldex but the rs3 stage 2 they move out they do 0 to 60 stage 2 like in the low threes high twos you know it's crazy 0 to, zero to 100 sorry cars and, and they're really cool cars i think they will do really well in india especially at that price point and uh yeah we should definitely consider so it. it's a good step up for the polo boys once you know they've become <laughs> a little established in the game yeah rs3 yeah i think even the golf yeah, it's a, it's a good step up from those cars. Yeah. Now, going back to Japan, we have the Nissan 400Z. Uh, I used to have a 300ZS, which was timeless, and it, I still miss it sometimes. The 400Z would be great, especially in a 6 speed manual, even the automatic. And they should price it along similar to, to the uh, Supra, the A90 Supra. I said about 80 lakhs at showroom. But the Nissan also V6, also six cylinder. It's a V6 twin turbo. It's a pretty um, good car. Pretty good car. Yeah, it makes about 400 horsepower. Yeah, I've not driven one, but I, I did see a few on the road uh, on my trip, and they looked really good in person. You yeah. know, they have they all the design elements. Retro design. Yeah, like the rear tail lights from nice. from your 300 ZX yeah. and the they, front. They, from so basically, they said they put a little bit of every Z, Z. in yeah. that car. So. And all the colors, you know, like the green, the lime green, yeah, they really sick. pop on the road. It's a really it's cool sick, car. It's sick. Uh, coming to a, a car that could realistically should have been here yeah. because <laughs> this is something this realistic. is something they discussed and they were like yeah we might get it we might not so believe it or not i used to actually own this car this is actually my first car which i call myself like it was my own car so i used to dream of having this car and basically it's a suzuki suzuki swift sport you know it's got a nice i don't know what motor 1. is 1.6 m16 is what it's called m16 wow why do you know this I don't know, cause uh, so anyways, long it has story. dual exhaust, nice after like it's got nice aftermarket support as well. Dual exhaust, it's got a six upgraded speed suspension, manual. six-speed manual, good brakes, good body kit on it too. Oh, it looks sharp. It looks like, so and nice. people are doing the Swift Sport kits here anyway. So Suzuki yeah, India, people are spending how much this if car should be when this, it comes. Yeah, just try. I like. know a guy who's <laughs> got like two Swifts into his Swift, so like it's crazy. Like yeah, they could bring it. Spend a Swift on a Swift. So. But the thing is, like the Baleno RS came. It's and it was on our vlog, the blue one. You know, bro. But no one bought the Baleno RS, so it kind of booed. Like, they should have. They should have bought the Suzuki Swift, Swift Sport. Like, that's a more cult. Baleno RS, yeah, the turbocharged. I know it was actually a cool car. Yeah, I think it's a very underrated booster car. Booster jet, three cylinder, made in Japan it was just engine. Three as well, wow. Made in Japan engine. Yeah, fully but the Swift you definitely need a one point six naturally aspirated, right? Yeah, naturally aspirated. Pretty good car though. All I right, think. so BMW, going back to Germany, BMW has a M340i here. Yeah. Which I think is sick car. Pretty cool of BMW to bring down. They sell out, you know, they none of them last in the showrooms that long. And they're priced pretty decently, that's why they're selling it. And, and believe it or not, a lot of people who own VRSs actually have moved on to the M340i. Because it's real I know bias. At least, yeah, and I know a lot of uh, VRS owners, ex VRS owners who mm -hmm. own that car now. I was saying, Instead of an M340i, maybe an M340d or an M440d. Because BMW had launched a 330d convertible here. They did. I did. did. We saw one on the way out. There's so many in our area, it's not even funny anymore. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> unfortunately, someone called me the other day. They're like, yo, you got a 330d for sale. Do you want to sell it? And I was just like, I said, I just I just sent him a picture of my engine. I was just like, bro. <laughs> like, Come on, bro. There's one in my building. Uh, someone, Some girl has it. Some 
woman. I think she's on our group Some of variants too. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. She drives it around. Pretty cool. Yeah, black yeah, car. I think I've seen it as like aftermarket wheels. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Some different wheels. Not aftermarket, but some other BMW wheels. Yeah. In the 3, 3 GT 30, or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. But so nice yeah, 440D would be perfect. It's a coupe. Uh, diesel engine. It's economical. You know, you want to do uh, road trips. Road trips. You know, in, in India market. You know, diesel this, diesel that. But even though a lot of companies are staying away from diesel cars now, everything is going petrol for some reason. Like the Fortune is not even a lo- uh, available in diesel. Oh, now. it's not in diesel. That's anymore. what I heard. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Yeah, even the Innova, the new High Cross, is only petrol. Oh, it's yeah, a hybrid. hybrid, hybrid because it uh, has a small battery and it turns off its traffic lights. Mm-hmm. Anyways, another brand that's here that should bring a car that would do. Bro, what really is this well. brand doing? Like they've they have no cars I would right pay, now on sale. I would pay fifty lakhs for this car. This car? Yeah, hundred percent. I'm talking about the Civic Type R. Now, this is actually uh, was limited production for some years. And I don't know if it's still limited production, but it's really hard to get these. And nice they're car. all over sticker. And uh, again, you know, 320 horsepower, front wheel drive. Got a chance to see one of those too. Yeah, and of they're course. really nice in the I flesh. just saw one. We just saw one in the mm-hmm. Dubai meet. Uh, the blue one. The, the really color is called one. Boost Blue. Yeah, I saw one in Championship White. Nice. But... I think it's it's a really well designed car. The old one was a bit too much for me, yeah. but the new one would actually sell in India because it's not too crazy, you know. Like it, yeah. it still looks like a simple Civic, and the interiors are it's really it's good. Far from simple, bro. The interiors are very well. The seats are by the car, I guess. And, it's a uh, sick car. It's I think it's car. very different from the VRSs and the and the S4s that were being sold before. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, a, definitely. it's a departure. And it's in the same price range, you know. Yeah, and you get a different taste for sure. Of you know? course, a manual. And it's a six speed man, the, the aluminum shift knob and yeah. everything. Very and a short throw as well. As well yeah, think, and yeah. bro, that plaque you get inside yeah, for the production, sick, that's yeah. pretty cool. So, that's a sick car. It should now, come. Fiat, I don't know if they're still around, but uh, I think they should launch the Abarth 124 Spider. I think this car on this list, I think is the most like. Oh, yeah, it would sell. Like for this price, <laughs> I think it would sell like hotcakes. Like, especially, I think at 50 lakhs, the 124 Spider, which is a Mazda Miata basically. Basically, yeah. Uh, so you have the reliability because it has the Miata engine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the nice Fiat looks. It looks better than it the looks, Miata. It looks better than the Miata, definitely. It's got that old classic, like, you know, roadster design or whatever. It's, it's a gorgeous car. Would say. Yeah, it's nice. So I would definitely, that also, a six-speed manual would be nice. It also comes in automatic, but the manual would be nice. That would be pretty good, yeah. Next car, we got your favorite. This is one of the cars you choose. Citron DS. Oh, Citron's, see? What? <laughs> it's, a, it's one of those funky, weird things that I... Quirky. <laughs> Quirky. Yeah, so um, Citroen is already here. They have the crosswind or something. Uh, no, so the air cross. Air C5. cross, air cross. I don't know if you can, it's blobby, it's cool. I think it's cooler than my Tiguan any day. Like, yeah, the suspension, uh, someone told S-class. me uh, the suspension, yeah. It's a budget S class, bro. And the one also, no. Really? C3, but that's yeah. no offense, kind of. Like it's kind of really? junk. Sorry, Citroen India, but like it's, it's junk. But the suspension was really nice on it, and uh, Citroen, oh, yeah. I think, is what, French? French, it's got the hydraulic suspension oh, standard nice. in India. It's a 3 wow. lakh option abroad. Wow. But guys, if you have like 40 lakhs to spend, maybe, and this is coming from a Tiguan owner, maybe just go see the Citroen out. It doesn't have four-wheel drive, but you don't need it, and it's so comfortable. If they got the DS brand here... It will do good. It's like, it's like luxurious, it's interesting, it's a departure from your Germans, and it's just... But we looked up the price good. online, and the only way they can <laughs> sell it here was a CKD, and it will still be about 40 to 50 lakhs, so I don't see that happening. But this car should definitely come. I think, the, actually, you know, I take that back. This is definitely the best car on the list. The DS5? No. No? No. Oh, okay. The Jeep Trackhawk. Oh, yeah. Oh. Because they already had the SRT. I think that was about 120. And I it think, sold all right, you know. Yeah, it did really good. They sold all of them. So I think the Trackhawk would be sick. It would definitely sell like hotkeys. It would kill the market of the Urus, the G-Wagon. And, oh, yeah. and, and a lot Definitely of fanboys are going to get buttered over this. A lot of uh, Urus fanboys or G-Wagon fanboys. We're talking about a 710 horsepower SUV. Jeep. Reliable. Yeah. Reliable. Not even kidding, bro. These things are reliable. They take a beating. My friend has has a 1,000 horsepower one to the wheels, mm-hmm. and it's still on stock transmission. Bro, I've seen so many of those hood takeover videos. Where yeah. Like yeah, they swing dudes. it around. <laughs> just so swing crazy. it around. <laughs> This thing was just both on and we can like, and this is some ethanol run, running like thousands of And they wheels. beat on these things, bro. Like, they just they like. The crap out of them. And these run what, like, low 11s, high 10s from yeah, factory, from like, fresh out the box. You don't need to break them out. You just straight. Straight, just rip yeah, them Uncle on the Sam road. Is off the lot. <laughs> off the lot. Alright, so another car that Nick uh, said. Another SUV, I think that would be practical, would be For a sure. good competition to the Jeep Wrangler or Jeep Rubicon. Mm-hmm. I still can't tell the difference between Wrangler and Rubicon. 
But anyways, one of those Jeeps, which is priced at anywhere between 52 to 65 lakhs. And it's a pity there. this brand left because they had such a cult following of sorts. Yeah, they did so well. They're doing pretty well, you know. No, I think they're shot now. They, I don't sh- know. They're, they have after sales. They, they said they might bring some of their EV models in the future. Like the Mark E. The Mark so we're e. talking about Ford. Ford. We're talking about the Ford Bronco. I think it'll do really well over here. Um, Wranglers are everywhere in Bombay. Yeah, Wranglers right? are everywhere. Ford Bronco would be pretty badass. But I don't think they come in right hand drive. But Ford, you gotta do something with that. Yeah, I think it, it would sell. Like the cars have like one two year waiting list. Yeah, yeah. Well, not anymore, but yeah. But they, they, they do. They did for a yeah, while, yeah, for and the sure. Jimny is gonna sell well. And Jimny's already sold out. You're looking at delivery in uh, September now. If you book, oh, that's we booked today. That's crazy. First cars are coming, I think, in April or May. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the Wranglers are everywhere in Bombay. You go around any posh area, you're just gonna find a bunch of Rubicons. The thing is, I'm so scared. That's another reason why I didn't get the Thar. Is because if I bought a Thar or like the Jimny, the only reason why I'm not buying it is because you have to like make it a full hot boy whip. Like, mm-hmm. especially even the Thar, you'll end up spending a Thar. You'll end up spending a Jimny on a Jimny on, on a Thar on a Thar. Have you seen the Because the you have kit? to stick out because you don't want to be, yeah, you know, part some of the struggler from Lokonwala who owns it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say any names now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we have one struggler friend. Yeah, with the M Sport 3 Series. 3 so Series, anyways, yeah. yeah. He did move from a VRS to a yeah. 3 Series. Let's not get too specific That's, now. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're gonna keep doing more of this, maybe even a part two. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Comment below what car you think should come and how much, should, how much it should be priced. Or what car you think you would like to own in the future you know and definitely you know definitely write down your top three cars which you want to see and um uh, yeah that's it nick, that's you wanted more nick i got you more nick so uh <laughs> here we go anyways like subscribe and share share this with all your friends and get their opinions too and also guys make sure you comment below on what you want to see like uh this video was damn fun uh writing you know coming up with these cars yeah, and stuff so you know, like, uh, come up with more interesting topics and we'll cover them. So, yeah, if, if you want to see me talk shit, write that. I will you talking gladly. Talking shit I mean, I'm pretty much talking shit all the time anyway. Yeah, yeah, but there you go. That's my character, pretty much. Anyways, see you guys soon.